Um, so I'm glad you guys made it. I'm going to pop over here and see who is with us. Um, Mary and Joan, Tammy, Robin, Joan, I see you in here twice. Aaron and Crystal. Okay, so there's quite a few of you, quite a few of us that are already on that are already in in our chat and i believe that you um all have pretty much shown up in the facebook room you know that we're um doing a facebook support group called the 28 day detox challenge and sugar rehab hi mary and um so that's a place for our support and such so i won't take a lot of time but i do have some slides here just to kind of go over um of what this is all about i don't know um I'm just really curious, has anybody done challenges like this or gotten into a group situation? I know that some of my clients here are um, Weight Watcher fans. Um, some of you have done some personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, I'm just curious to see um, if, you've, if you've done a program where you're self-paced but yet in a group. So it's a little different than one-on-one -on -one coaching or um, showing up at a group like a Weight Watchers meeting. So pop in there in the chat room, let me know. I'm just kind of curious about that. But this 28-day detox challenge is something that my husband and I um, did six years ago, Dr. Hyman's um, Ultra Simple Diet. And when we use the word diet, I'm so not about um, dieting and calorie counting. You'll learn that I say we should count chemicals and not calories. Um, I used to do all the weighing and measuring and dieting and, and counting my calories and getting on the scale and um, it never worked really for me. I've lost um, four sizes over the last three years of getting myself in shape. My husband and I started climbing mountains to prepare for Half Dome um, at 46. I'll be 50 in June and I wasn't very fit. I ate whatever I wanted to eat. I have a sugar tooth, a sweet tooth, so I struggle with that one. And um, you know, I took three, four pairs of pants off in the morning when I was trying to get dressed on a regular basis and I just was tired of it. And so it wasn't, it, the weight loss was something that I was struggling and trying to, to do with this diet and that diet, but it wasn't until I decided that I wanted to get strong enough to climb Half Dome and, and let my body be strong and not worry about the weight as well as symptoms that I was trying to overcome. For me, it's a lot of gut symptoms. I am a former colonic hydrotherapist. I specialize in detoxifying the organs and, and helping people with leaky gut, with um, colitis issues, with constipation issues, um, liver, gallbladder cleanses, and that kind of thing. I do specialize in symptomatic issues. So. Um, you know, I'm not a doctor, obviously, so if you're working with a doctor, we will do things as well as, because we know the medical field is using uh, medicines and surgeries and that kind of thing. What really got me was that at 20 years old, I started to, I lived in with a hospice cancer patient with a colostomy. I took care of her colostomy and I realized, no, I don't want to be a nurse. I don't believe it's really health care. I believe it's sick care. And I want to learn the alternative ways to pr protect my body and, and increase um, longevity and health and immunity in my system. So um, so that's um, a whole 30, yes. I know some people are into, um, um, what's the gal's name, uh, JJ, J, and then the whole 30 program. So very, you know, a lot of people are into paleo or the ultra simple or the, um, what do you call it, blood type, eat right for your type diet. Again, there's a lot of good fundamental things out there and basically, I'm about treating the body with the proteins, fats, and carbohydrates that it needs to be a healthy body, as well as using food as medicine, using herbs, using supplements, using um, actual you know, foods itself, rather than supplementing. Um, I believe strongly in detoxifying, and um, you know, it's just like when you do the dishes in the sink. You gotta let out the stuff that we don't want and that before putting the new stuff in. So with the body, the detox, a lot of people I know that have joined the, the cleanse, the detox, um, were reticent about it because they were worried about, well, what does that mean? What does detox mean? And it sounds, you know, um, like I'm gonna be in the bathroom or I'm gonna not be able to go out of the house. And so it's not about that at all. It's just that we have eliminative organs, um, the skin being the largest eliminative organ, our liver, our lungs, our um, colon, our lymphatic system, kidneys, we're going to make them, we're going to help them to process and function better. And when we do that, when, when we're getting the right 
um, fats, proteins, carbohydrates, oxygen to our brain, um, uh, supplements like essential fatty acids and the right minerals in our systems and the right vitamins and the right sleep, um, the body functions as it's supposed to and it doesn't hold weight. Weight is toxins. Fat is toxins. A lot of times we beat ourselves up about, well, I can't eat well, or, I'm, not being, I'm not being disciplined enough, I don't exercise enough, and we beat ourselves up for being overweight. And a lot of it is that um, there's no way we can self-will ourselves to reduce our calories and, um, and, and create health. Um, and so for me, I'm excited to share that with you because really releasing weight is a lot more simple um, than people realize. If we just kind of set it aside, we don't worry so much about weight loss and we worry more about um, what can I do to get my body to function better. Take out the old before we start pulling in and bringing in a bunch of expensive vitamins and supplements and you'll see that this program is not about me having you buy a lot of products. I am not a product related coach. I do have my favorites. I am a cherry picker. I teach a little of this and a little of that and I will share places that you can get things. Um, to support your body along in the in the ways of the food along with the foods that you're going to add but this is really about a whole food clean eating program and it's something that's sustainable i know several of us on this program are going to different conferences i've had people say can i start later because i'm going to a wedding or a party no no you can't because life is going to always be about um this event gathering or this girls, it just is. And so I really just want to teach you to make one better choice um, after the next. It's not all or nothing. Honestly, I've had clients that have just done maybe released um, sugar, uh, sugar drinks like sodas out of their diet and added a smoothie for breakfast in the morning and even one at night before they go to bed and done nothing else and seen amazing results in the first week they did that. So I hope that will be encouraging to you. So I'm going to go away here, and you're going to see some slides. I'm going to move into the next slide. You saw the opening slide when you came in. But the first one is, why do the detox? And we really are about a, a, a sad diet. The standard American diet um, is really about packaging, and it's big food and big pharma that is really not our friend so much, okay? Um, the 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 The... It, the manufacturers are about making profit, and the way they do that is they get us addicted to uh, to foods with their high sugar um, and convenience. And so my hope is that I can teach you some ways to um, bring whole healthy food um, regimens into your regular busy life, because we all are super busy, but we tend to put ourselves on the back burner and get around to it. I'll, I'll make a nice meal once in a while. I'll take care of myself when I have time to go to the spa or take a week's vacation. But I want to equip you to bring in the food prepping skills that, that I have come up with that feed me um, during the week, because it's, it's never a slow week for me. I'm sure it's the same for you. Um, so not just grabbing convenience things. If there's a commercial for it, and a lot of times if there's a coupon for it, I know some people hear coupon, but I want you to consider, you know, if it's in a box, it's all colorful and packaged and can stay on the shelf for years on end, we have to consider, is it really food or is it a food-like product? And so really, we're gonna use food as our medicine. God's pharmacy was created to give us all the minerals and the, and the vitamins, the fats, the essential fatty acids that, um, that will, will fuel us. Um, one of the things my clients love, besides that I tell them, you're not going to count calories in this program. I'm not a health coach that has you count calories. However, you will see at times when I put up things and I'll say this snack was about 100 to 200 calories. or Because if you are trying to lose weight and it's not just about supplementing, I want you to be aware, especially if you've been on a reduced calorie diet. I hit the larger screen and now I have no sound. You're back. Everybody's back. Okay. Um, if, especially if you've been on a restricted calorie diet, we want to—we don't want to go all willy nilly all of a sudden and just eat everything that you know, without without regard. Because I certainly don't want to see you gain. But however, I will say on that note, if you do see yourself with the program in the first week, and you, the first week is going to be slowly changing things, um, and you feel a little weight shift, 
my hope is you'll stay off the scale. But I do have clients that are not going to stay off the scale. It's part of their regimen and it's how they control. And I would prefer you stay off the scale. Um, especially if you're working out and gaining muscle, you're going to weigh heavier. So my point here, though, is is that you will shift a bit in the first week, and if it's up a little, don't panic. It's gonna be okay. Some of you are here for weight loss, some of you are here for health and symptom, overcoming symptoms and just sluggishness and fatigue. I promise you that if you follow this, and not even perfectly, if you do the majority of what I share with you, you will change at the end of this month, you will. And you'll have a new sense of, 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 of um, caring, I guess, of, of, of the perspective of caring about your body as a commodity. That's my hope. I, I mean, I was at this pit of hell, sick, tired, depressed, addicted, and really washed up at like 30 years old. And I'm 50 now. And I don't have, however many years I have, I don't know, but, but I don't have the luxury of, of over of starting it over and over again. I want to be healthy. I want to be fit. I don't want to end the end of my years fighting symptoms and so forth. And food, can, we can honestly control that like diabetes. Um, diabetes is, is a disease that is overtaking America. And it's, it's almost always controlled by food and exercise. So what, what, a be, what a blessing that is. So we're all about, this is a lifestyle, not a diet. Um, we're going to teach you how to create the transformation in your body by renewing your mind. I am not one who will say, I want to lose 20 pounds by April. Because if you don't lose 20 pounds by April, you're a failure. And you're like, well, that's another diet that didn't work. What I want to train you to do is to do the things that a person who is at their balanced weight, or let's say for me, I want to be strong because I'm not feeling in the shape that I need to be in to climb Half Dome again in June. So for me, I can't just set that as a large goal. I have to say, I want to be strong by Half Dome. So I need to say, I want to do the things that make a person strong. So I want to be somebody who can do, you know, five, 10 push-ups and, and a series of 30 sit-ups or whatever it is that I choose to do three days a week. And that's what I focus on. I don't focus so much on the long term. So I, wanted, I will start to teach you how to train your mind, the psychology and science behind what your brain will do when you get really a new mindset to be able to make these, make these goals for you. It's a lifestyle. It's not a diet. We're not going to count calories. We're not going to focus on a weight number. We're just going to move towards balance and health and wellness, and it will, it will drop off. Um, the strategies that I will teach you are really about flexing. If you know you're going to a meeting where there's going to be a whole spread of food and you want to indulge, you know, I don't want you to sit there and feel um, you know, deprived. Deprived is not a word any of us like, and yet we're so used to that when we're dieting and trying to lose weight. We're just going to flex. We're going to make better choices the two and three days prior to that event and two and three days after. Or we're going to balance by working out more, moving more, burning more calories because we know we're going to increase in some calories. That's what we're going to do. We're going to shift and we're going to change up um, just mindsets. And what we're going to do is we're going to become more energetic. We're going to do in the third week some rituals to learn how to put ourselves to a rest mode easier. For me, when I started really getting rid of the toxins out of my system that I had built up from being in the hair salon for years on end, eating out most of my early career because I traveled to ten, uh, um, three cities in 10 days. I was always eating out. I had depression. Um, my hormones as I was in my 40s started to really go out of whack and it's really helpful to start to see that you can use food to move your chemicals in your body um, and you'll feel good about yourself. So many of my clients deal with a mindset of shame and, um, and, and maybe even um, using weight to keep things, to keep people away from them because it's a mental um, issue, some emotional issues you need to deal with. So we'll have some of that time you'll find in your packets that you have um, places to journal and how do you feel. I want you to get real with that stuff. Take the time to slow down and say, am I really hungry? And if I am, then eat. And if I'm not, then write, then walk, then get on your trampoline for a minute. And then if you are, 
that's fine. If you're hungry all the time, that's fine too. I'll just show you things that you can eat. It's okay. Um, so I really want to give you a new sense of hope. And I want you to see that you'll release weight loss, um, weight naturally. Um, again, I was on diet pills. I was on, you know, illicit drugs. I did, you name it. I have tried a lot of things to, sh to, to lose weight over the years. And um, I have really seen that when I stopped focusing on calories and my weight loss, um, I, I started working on my gut, which is a huge part for me and why I'm a health coach and why I do this, why I became a health or a, a hydro, um, hydrothera a colonic hydrotherapy um, technician. So when you balance your gut and when your hormones are balanced and your adrenal glands, which are your fight or fight, a fight or flight syndrome glands, the stress hormones are released. When we learn techniques to balance that out and give ourselves the rest that we need, the weight will drop off because it's not hormonally, um, you know, we're not hormonally bound and that belly fat that happens and so forth. So I'll teach you some tricks and some supplements that will help you with all of that uh, balancing. So the principles for this plan are in the first week, we're gonna just pick a few things. Maybe you're already a great water drinker, but maybe you're not getting five to nine fruits and vegetables a day. So you got your packet. Some of you I know um, have gone into the grocery store and stocked up on your stuff and that's great. And if you haven't, don't feel rushed. This week is really about changing it up, starting to track what you're doing, increasing your movement, increasing your water, and having a mindset that I'm going to start reducing sugars. If you have a couple of sodas a day or a week, then have one. I used to drink four Diet Cokes a day. Um, I had, I really knew I needed to get off of the um, artificial sweeteners. I was having migraine headaches. I knew that that was a part of it. Um, and how do we know? You know, some things we need testing for. I'm, I'm a big person on testing your blood. It is a plumb line for certain things. I don't always believe in just supplementing, you know, vitamin E or B because it's a good thing to do. Sometimes we need to test our blood and see if it is the thing that we need or not. But I also believe that we have the master physician within. And you can say, you know, if you're, if you're, um, if you're in alignment with that and you believe that God can give you those answers, then stop and say, what is it that I need to do? And you know that gut feeling that happens. I knew that I needed to get rid of Splenda and sugar, um, fake sugars. And I had everything that you can imagine, Special K with, with aspartame and, and soups with you know, cereals, whatever I could find that was 300 calories or less and filled with artificial sweeteners. That's what I thought was okay. And what that does is that actually switches triggers in our brain that will make us fat. And so we won't go into a lot of that part um, in terms of the teaching of it all. That's the kind of stuff I do one-on-one -on -one when that's an issue for somebody. It's not an issue for everybody, but I will show you substitutions. And you may just decide, you know what, I'm drinking two or three Diet Cokes a day. I'm going to take it down to, to two and then one and just back it off. Whatever that is for you, I don't want you to feel all or nothing or pressured. This isn't about that. That's just making one better choice. And I'd like you to track in the trackers that come out each week. You can run those run those off, and you can um, and you'll see that you can write um, some affirmations or scriptures if that's your style. You can write how you're feeling about things, or you can just write things that you want to be accountable to. You know, for me, I there's I'm a sugar addict, and I'm working on not being one. And I have many st stints of time where I'm I get free of it. But I don't know about you. If you're a sugar person, you probably realize that when you stop and then you add a few things back in, the sugar monster comes alive, and you need more and you want more. And so I have supplements and herbs and um, protocols that I can share with you and will in the Facebook chat room as if that's something that you're interested in. I know everyone's submitted to me different reasons that they're in and different issues that they have. Sugar's a huge one here. It is for most of us. And sugar's in so many hidden things. My goodness. Every time, you know, even if you try to cut out sugar, if you're, if you're drinking, if you're eating condiments like, you know, salad dressings and uh, ketchup, you're going to find sugar. And I know Crystal on here doing the Whole30 program and some uh, Marion doing other um, 
uh, programs that's sugar related. Um, we are calling this a sugar rehab because we're going to start reducing sugar. Um, and in the third week, you will see major detoxifying happening in that department and you will become healthier. It is sugar that makes you fat. It is not fat that makes you fat. I will definitely hope to have you learn that whole principle in this challenge that you will not become afraid of fat. You will not eat low fat or no fat products because especially if, if it's meant by God to be made with or to have fat like an avocado or like a cottage cheese or a dairy product, Man needs to stay out of, you know, messing around with it, you know, and same with eggs. We're going to teach you that a full egg and the fat of the egg yolk is important for your health and to cut that out of there and be on a quote unquote diet type um, uh, program that says we're going to only eat egg whites. We want the whole food in there and I'll teach you more on that as well. So a lot of people have asked me, do I have to give up caffeine and alcohol? You don't have to do anything on this program, but it is recommended as a detox program to not stress your eliminative organs. And we do know that caffeine, um, it obviously is going to attack the kidneys, but the biggest thing that caffeine does, and I want you to get this, and along the way I'll teach more about it, but it does alter your blood sugar. So if you have coffee in the morning and you wonder, oh, I'm not hungry till lunch, it's probably because the caffeine keeps shooting up your blood sugar, telling you that you're not hungry. Then you have a little crash. You go get another cup of coffee, maybe a little donut or whatever's in the break room at work or whatever you're doing, and um, we get in trouble that way. So we are going to, you know, if you're drinking two cups of coffee, three, four, I used to drink a pot of coffee before I left my home in the morning. I drink again in the afternoon. It really was a big part of why my adrenals are burnout. So we are going to talk about cutting it in the third week. We really want to get to the place where we're cutting out all things that are challenging our system and then you can bring things back in to see if those are things that bother you and you'll see because you've been clean you'll see if they are or they aren't um, for the second week again it'll be more about the cleaning house and preparing for week three I'll come in at the end of week two with a webinar um, for us with specific plans on the, um, the diet um, the products, let me say that differently, the products that you're going to purchase, the foods that you're going to do, preparing a broth to eat. In my house, we always have broth. If you're hungry and you've not eaten and it's time for food, we eat food. If you're hungry or noshy and you need a little something, something, then we try maybe some, some fruits and vegetables and some dips, tahini and, and hummus, which we'll have different recipes for throughout the challenge. But sometimes you just really need some comfort. Or you want to think, and a lot of times we go for a cup of coffee just because we need a break. We need to get up from our desk and need something warm and cozy. So around here, we use bone broth, beef or chicken, and um, that feeds our system and it seals our gut and calms and soothes our system system and gives us nourishment and minerals and then we have energy to go through the afternoon until dinner again so I'll be sharing some of that um, so in the week two I just want you to start um, preparing for that big week three um, and and start to try to remember that in week three you don't want to schedule a whole lot of extra stuff it's not like you're gonna be in the bathroom I don't want you to feel like that people have asked me you know am I gonna have you know purging and that no you are not there's nothing about that you're gonna have fibrous foods um, that are actually just going to help your elimination become better but there won't be anything unnatural happening um, I just want you to be more able to concentrate on your wellness, including your rest, including your movement. In my home, I don't know if you saw behind me when the when the cam was up, but um, right at my desk here, I have a little mini trampoline, and at the feet of uh, at my feet, I have weights from size three to fifteen. And when I'm doing projects at my desk and I need to get up, I get on that trampoline for ten minutes. I do it when I first wake up in the morning. I get on there and just kind of, you know, I put on some worship music. Maybe you so you would put on the news, whatever it is for you, and I just start my day with telling myself that I'm healthy and well and that I'm gonna have a great day and that I'm born for abundance and I'm moving I'm not necessarily having to get my heart rate up sometimes I do do that but it's really about the lymphatic movement the, the circulation the movement moving the sludge after laying in bed for eight hours well Tammy some of us know that we don't usually get eight hours huh <laughs> we're working on that so um, so anyway I want you to make room for mindfulness and resting 
Most of us entrepreneurs, busy women, moms, students, I know some of you in the room that live the lives of three women and it's amazing, but how long can we sustain that? So the detox week, you'll have full instructions for it. I'm so excited about that. It is based on Dr. Mark Hyman's work. He's written a number of books. I've learned a ton of what I teach from his very balanced functional medicine. And um, he's written um, the blood sugar diet. He's written the ultra metabolism diet. And then the small um, uh, paperback book called The Ultra Simple Diet radically changed my life and it is the basis of my teachings as well as the Fresh Start Health Academy that I um, am associated with. Um, she, the, the leader of this, has also been radically changed by Dr. Hyman's diet and has seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people come to balance through it. So that is very much based on his um, uh, reduction, the detox portion, things that could be food sensitivities. Most of us have food sensitivities we do not know about because we say, well, I'm not allergic because I don't have hives or symptoms or, or you know, the anaphylactic shock that goes with a real hive, a real uh, peanut allergy or something. But what happens when we're allergic to, excuse me, um, sensitive to a food is that we get symptoms that we don't relate to the food because they're usually delayed sensitivities. We eat something and then two to three days later, we feel fluey. We may feel like, oh, I think I'm coming down with something. Or for me, joint pain is really a big part of it. Or the digestion, I was told maybe like eight years ago, I would need to be on the purple pill, the Nexium, the, the stuff that the, for the anti, the reflux and the GERD that I was struggling with in my esophagus area. And it's one of the number one pills, one of the biggest uh, prescribed pills in, in our country. And people just take antiacids and all of that just to keep doing what they're doing and we're treating symptoms. And so we're going to learn in the detox week that maybe it's corn. Maybe we have a corn allergy. For me, I learned that gluten was really a problem for me. And I see it as a gift from God, to be honest with you. My grandmother died at 320 pounds. My mom died heavy and from cancer, lung cancer and col um, liver cancer. And, um, we're, we're bread addicted. I mean, sugar and, and carbohydrates and the whole nine yards. I maintain a healthy weight without dieting, counting calories, and still eating pretty much anything I want except my food sensitivities. Now, do I cheat? Yes, I do. And do I pay the price? I do. But I'm telling you, I've maintained weight, um, you know, because I've cut out the gluten and the heavy grains. So that may be something you will look at as well. So then the fourth week is the reintroduction of basic basic foods that you like to eat. Um, the things that will be removed in the third week, besides the alcohol and caffeine, um, is um, um, like uh, meats like pork and and, and beef. Um, although somebody, some people individually, I'll talk to you about, I mean, I personally have a sensitivity to chicken, so I use beef. Um, but generally speaking, the average public can take out the heavy dark meats, uh, chicken, I mean, cow and pork and lamb and all of that, and then reduce all of the whites, the sugars and the flours, corns, eggs, um, and dairy. Those are all very common food sensitivities. And we, a lot of people will say, well, what can I eat? But you'll see that the list is long of things that you can eat. I want you to start realizing that meat should be a small portion of your, your plate and that fats should pl have a place in there for satiety, um, for, um, for, for your, your hormones and, and joints and your brain, we need good quality fats that coconut oil and avocado oil and avocados and, um, and grass fed butter. My clients that hear me say no margarine and eat butter, they love me. They're like, really? You're the first person that's ever told me I could eat butter. Yes, but it's whole foods. It's quality grass fed organic. And it's, and it's, you know, it's, um, cooking with quality oils like um, avocado and sesame and um, coconut oil. So we'll learn some new ways of thinking and you'll just try them out. And hopefully you'll be able to see that, you know, for me, I, I, I've come from, you know, four sizes heavier and very sick to older than I was obviously three, four, five, six years ago and in way better shape because I've, tr I've transformed my life using these principles. So I know they work. Um, 
the 90 days after this event, this, pro this program, it's important if you find that you're putting, maybe you add dairy back in and you're like, wow, my stomach, I'm noticing it now. It's really bothering me or my skin is still breaking out. Then maybe we need to take a look closer at food sensitivities and I can certainly help you with that. So then we're about moving. Okay. We do, we do eat fresh. We do move fresh. I am not one who says you have to go to a CrossFit. Um, you have to do classes or get on, a, go running. This is really about just being mindful to move. When I'm standing in the line at the bank, I'm moving. I'm up and down on my toes. I'm squeezing my butt cheeks. I'm pulling my gut, my belly button back to my spine. I'm remembering to pull my head up out of my shoulders and my shoulders out of my ears because they're not earrings. I'm just being mindful. I'm sitting in the car driving and I'm doing pelvic tilt and I'm squeezing isotonically all my muscles. That's the kind of stuff that I want you to start doing is just, you don't have time to go work out, but you can stand up at your desk and do some lunges and do some body, um, you know, some squats and get on a tramp, mini trampoline. It doesn't cost much to buy a mini trampoline if you have room at your office. Um, I want to see 30 minutes a day. So if you're not doing any, once a day, once a week, I mean, add, add, add one or two more things than you're doing currently and let that be good. Don't say I'm failing the diet, I'm falling short, because you're not. You're doing um, one more thing and one more thing. And so there's some ideas there for you to get um, the, the fresh, uh, fresh, uh, moving fresh ways. For me, I have got to get outside and get some fresh air. And thank God I have a big red dog that needs to get out and, and go. Or sometimes my temperament, I'd be in the house just not even wanting to, you know, to leave the house sometimes. So if you have kids, take time to play basketball with them or you know, get outside, play frisbee, do whatever. Um, if you can get into a jazzercise or a Zumba because you love dance, that feeds your soul. That's your mind uh, and, and your, your, um, uh, your spirit getting loved on, and that's important. Um, yoga is a big thing for me. Stretching, um, you know, if you're Christian, don't be afraid of the word yoga. We have to be mindful, not legalistic, and mindful that we're not doing it as a religious practice, but that we're doing it in the properties of the 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 perspective from the perspective of stretching and being mindful. It's pulling out, pulling out our our limbs and stretching out of our core and. <coughs> strengthening ourselves. In fact, I'm looking at becoming certified as a holy yoga instructor. So again, um, whatever you find that works for you, don't feel like you got to rush out and do a gym membership. I can teach you and I'm working on some videos where I can just teach you how to do things at home where you can buy at a garage sale some different hand weights or even use cans if you know, you've not been doing anything. So, so I want to see you and you'll have a place to, to work on that. Um, a big part of my teachings and my learning was not to try to self-will myself into that. I'm a spiritually based um, health coach. Hopefully that is something that you practice as well because we are mind, body, and spirit. There are scriptures throughout this that is biblically based. If that's not your thing, put something in that is. We all have the ability to reach within and to um, create affirmations and to draw on something bigger than ourselves, whatever that is for you. For me, it is the word of God. It's the only thing that has really given me a plumb line of um, speaking life over myself um, rather than the negativity, I mean, the stinking thinking that I tend to can, can get on. So I want to know, what did my creator say about me? Um, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm wonderfully made, and I deserve the abundant life. I was born for the abundant life. So I also need to pray for self-control, and that's a problem for me. If I'm in a room with with candies and, and, and cookies, I have to talk myself off the ledge. I really do. And so I have to say, yeah, I can do all things. And so it's really important to tag, to figure out where that is for you to not just try to walk yourself through this with a, I'm going to do this. I'm going to lose 40 pounds and, you know, in, in four months. And um, while that may be doable, if it's all on you, you fail, you have that sense of, of shame and failure. And really we are transformed by the renewing of our minds, not, not our will. Um, and so it's really important to have a spiritual aspect to it. There's some scriptures that work for me that I love that I put in that, um, that you can use that you can put on your daily, um, uh, sheets if they work for you. Um, 
you know, Second Corinthians is really important to me. We're new creatures. When we decide and we bring God into our life and we say, I'm a new create creation, the old things have passed away, we leave those old things behind. We don't keep picking them up and letting our mind mentally, you know, tell us, oh, no, you failed before. Who do you think you are and all that stuff? No, I am what my creator says that I am, and I have to replace those words. And there will be a, play, a page in your challenge that has the words we want to get rid of and how we can replace those words. So however it works for you, take some time to do some spiritual. If it's just getting out into nature and, and breathing in the gratitude of the fact that you woke up that day. So I want you to remember we're going to do small steps. This is not, a, there's not perfection here. You're each unique. I'm about doing a, a personal um, blueprint for each person. I don't believe in blanket statements in terms of everybody needs to be on a paleo diet or everybody, you know, needs to be vegetarian. It is what it is for your mind, body, and spirit. And, um, and we all do have different symptoms to address. So um, I can help with that as well. So I want you to really use the group as, um, as a support system. I believe those of you that have been in Weight Watchers and other um, Way Down and other um, group types of wellness programs, it is the power of the group that gets you through sometimes. And I'll tell you what, I've had to call, text somebody, hey, I'm going by a donut shop and I'm in a bad mood and I haven't eaten and I am buying a French cruller and talk me out of it. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever it takes. Um, I want you to prepare. That's the big part for me. I get going where I fly by the seat of my pants and I'm, you know, I get, maybe I'll have a lazy day when I know that Sunday or Monday I should be prepping my food. I've got some people in the room here. Yes, I will, Cammy. We'll put, I'll put some, I'll put these slides in for you. Someone's asking me to put the scriptures in the room. You'll get these. But, um, the prepping part is huge. I, you know, if you have good food in your fridge, you will eat good food. If you haven't prepped, how many times have you, maybe you've even done the grocery store, you've got the food in there, but it's still a lot of work. So you go out to dinner or you stop on the way home from work or you have the kids pick up takeout. Don't do it. That's the thing I want you to walk away from this challenge with is that I have created regimens and steps and things that are quick and easy always having hard-boiled eggs if you're not sensitive to eggs always having broth prepared and freeze it and put it away and take it out each couple of days or each week um, having you know coming home from the store and not leaving the produce in the bag and then three or four days later it's all wilted but utilizing good quality um, you know plastics I, I have a couple of different sources that I use because they really make a difference when I sh if I create my vegetables if I if I um, cut my vegetables up in the mindset that I'm gonna have some for taking in the car and to the, you know to lunch in lunch and some um, and just prepping them so that I know that they're for different reasons and then they're already almost all the way cut up for a stir-fry then I can t you can tell your kids or your husband exactly what to do. It's almost there. Your, your nights will be 10, 15 minutes of prep work, and you'll eat. Um, and then leftovers get put away for lunch meal. So uh, my, my real passion is to equip busy women to not diet but to live a healthy lifestyle to support their wellness so they will have a vibrant, energetic life built for longevity that's important so do the preparations now a lot of us are not our, our um, temperament is not about tracking I'm one of those people again I think through things I don't always write it all down I, I'm not good at doing the Fitbit or the um, the uh, couple of you use uh, my fitness pal or going in there and putting in everything but I'm really gonna ask you to get um, on track with doing your tracking, writing it down, journaling what you're doing, writing the, the foods that you're eating, not because you're really telling on yourself or you're trying to see if, you know, you keep up with the perfection standard, but it's to, to see where did to assess, where did you go wrong or what happened with why are you feeling the symptom? Because I will tell you with food symptoms, you'll think, well, I didn't eat anything yesterday. I shouldn't feel bad, but it might have been from three days ago. So, so I want you to, um, to realize that this is a journey and to love yourself where you are. You're healthy in the fact that you're moving forward. Your mind is healthy in that it's not saying that it's not in denial or that it's not in, um, you know, 
I don't care. You're, you're moving forward. You're spending time and money on making yourself well, and that's commendable. And I want you to have joy in that. And I want you to learn to love yourself right where you are. Even if you don't believe it, you need to program your mouth because there's life and death in your tongue. I want you to say those things if you need to write them down and put little sticky notes on your mirror or in your car. I want you to hear the negative self-talk and kick that crazy lady out of your head. I want you to have joy. And then take some time for rewards. You know, if you, if you don't reward yourself for 10 pounds lost, reward yourself for, you know what, I exercised three days this week, or I started to get off of caffeine and sugar, and I'm going to give myself a new, new pair of tennis shoes or, or a, a new CD to, to get on the treadmill to, whatever that is for you. I want you to write that stuff down and go towards it. So the last part I want to just talk about again is I know, again, we have so many groups and so many ways to connect on Facebook. Do commit to I'm in this challenge. I'm on this journey. I have a Facebook group. Maybe you don't even really haven't, haven't made connections yet with the other women, although I believe that will happen fast for you. There's a really high quality group of loving, compassionate women in this group. I'm very excited about the, um, the, the, the divine appointments or connections. But even for me, it's about if I state what it is that I'm going to do, I've put it out there now, and there's a place in me that says, oh, now I'm going to have to own to that, own up to that, I'm going to have to be responsible to that. Do it the same with your friends. If you're telling, if you're going out to dinner with your girlfriends and they know I'm not eating the bread because I'm going gluten free or I'm at least on this challenge reducing my whites, carbs, and such. I don't eat bread rather than just keep it to yourself and oh well this way I can give in and they won't know and I won't be shamed so please use the group set yourself up for one step up and one level up and um, yeah I love it crystal when I don't food prep it's over it's so true it's that way with anything really if we don't do our laundry we're wearing you know the the yucky clothes in the back of our, yeah, or the workout clothes. Oh, I don't have cute workout clothes to go to the gym. So, yeah, we know that preparation is something key. And then be prepared for the setbacks. Allow those things. I do not want the spirit of perfectionism to wear you down. You are good and perfect right where you are. You are. You're just going to make one small set. One small step, one small step. And you know what? You're going to make one or two falling backwards. And I want you to embrace them and not be afraid of them. And don't let that crazy lady or that enemy of your success to talk you down from moving forward. Because that's what happens for me. Oh, well, I've already messed up. I'm going to wait till Monday to get it back together, right? Oh, well, I had that cup of coffee. It's been three weeks since I've been off of coffee. And then I let myself have a cup of coffee. And then I might as well have it now because I'm going to the coffee shop with my girlfriends the next day. No, I'm a tea drinker. And I, my husband and I gave up soda. I would have to say to my hubby, just look at him and shake my head and go, I am not a soda drinker. I am not a soda drinker. And so now I've seen him. We go to the movies. He wants popcorn and a soda. And I'll just kind of, now we have, you know, because he's allowed me into that space for him, I'm not nagging him, but I'll just say, oh, I am not a soda drinker. And sure enough, he'll go, okay, I'll have a water. <laughs> yeah. So you got to set it up. You got to say what you're, what you're doing and, and move on. And you know what? We confess one to another and then we know how to pray for each other. And we know how to, to like I say, state our intentions. If we state our intentions, we, we get, um, we get, let me see if I can come back here. Ta-da! There we are. So I, I really hope that I've encouraged and inspired you to, um, um, to set aside this time for yourself. I mean, our bodies are our biggest commodities. And women, as entrepreneurial women, we just go and go and we work. We balance our homes, our kids, our community life, our ministry life, pushing for our work. I'm up in the morning, don't even get dressed, don't even have a drink, and I'm coming, a cup of tea, and I'm coming to my desk, and what can I do, and who do I connect with? You guys know how it is. I just really want to help you change the mindset that says, I'm worth it, I'm valuable, I have value to bring and that I can't give 
a lot, I can't pour into other people's cups if my own cup is weak and so or is broken. And so it's really important to set that side of time aside, a time aside for yourself. So I'm so grateful and excited for you to be on this program with me. Um, I'm here for you in the chat room in this group. I can also be available. At, I have, um, you know, a 30 minute one-on-one um, -on -one time that you can have just complimentary with me. If you need to talk deeper than you're getting in this challenge, please, I'm always here for you. So um, I want to share with you, I want you to save the date for this. It's coming up. I have this self-love, self-care mini retreat. It is on the 14th. It's two weeks from today. It's on the 14th from nine to three. Saturday. If it, I'm sorry? It's, it's a Saturday. It's in two weeks. If you have um, the time and you can come, it is. I'm really excited about the things that we have in store. It'll be about three hours worth of workshop style teaching. I'll go in deeper than the things we've been learning here on the program. It will be interactive time where you'll have some, um, uh, you know, some really going deep and setting intentions and finding out what your hindrances are and, and blockages and bondages even that you're getting. Um, where you'll have two or three, four girls gather together and kind of really work that through. There's a lot of wisdom in the room. It's not all about me. That is for sure. I know a lot of you in the room have learned a lot, have been working through a lot. It's been a lifetime of increasing um, our knowledge. And so I'd love to see that shared. Then we'll have some light bites from 12 to 12.30. We'll do some, some refreshments. And it will be things that I have, um, menus that I have, uh, recipes that I have, fast on the go food, little meatloafs that I carry make and carry with me um, egg muffins fast things that are healthy and delicious and we'll have those as samples so that you can <clears throat> you can taste those <clears throat> then we'll do an intention setting exercise like a vision board um, that is um, just centered around your health and wellness your intentions on how you're going to take care of your body honor your body as the temple that it is um, and then after that there will be um, We'll have somebody there that's doing chair massages. There'll be um, some health and wellness vendors, a lady that makes beautiful soaps, another lady that does um, great um, easy clothing. She makes handmade, and then she also brings um, a shapewear product line that's fabulous. Um, and just some fun things for girls, you know, just to hang out and really just give ourselves um, love and attention to um, setting intentions to our wellness. So that's available to you. Um, it can be free to you if you get three of your friends to register and bring them along with you. I would love to gift you um, for for being a, a, a mouthpiece to, to this work. And um, again, see us in the chat room. If there are girls on here that are not signed up in the um, in the red, uh, they're not registered in the challenge already. I don't think I have the I don't think I have that offer here, do I? No. So you can go to um, my Facebook page at the top of the Facebook page underneath the cover page. There's there's always my, um, the tabs are about either a free webinar, either one of my challenges, or in fact, you can find the self-care mini retreat there. But um, there is a 28-day challenge tab underneath the cover page, cover photo on my Facebook page. It's um, facebook.com forward slash Laura Van Vibrant Living. Um, you can also go straight to the page, and that would be um, www.22s.com forward slash Laura Van forward slash 28 day challenge. And that will get you right to the registration page as well. So I hope to see all of you. I appreciate all of your, your, um, your compassion for one another and your encouragement. We'll share your recipes. The other thing I want to just say is there will be recipes that you can go to on the Intentional Web Lifestyle website, which is attached to my um, Health Coaching Academy. I also will be putting up recipes, but show us your own recipes. There is no off-limit food except, you know, the sugar and the toxins and the poisonous type of things. But if you have a Mexican dish that you love, alter it to take out some of the um, maybe the things that, you know, like maybe it's a packaged taco seasoning that we have chemicals in. Maybe we want to do something different and have clean food, but change it up and share it with us. I'm, I'm excited to see what you'll bring to the table. So thanks for joining us, and I'll be glad to see you in the Facebook room. Bye for now. Hopefully everybody's happy at your house because of the Super Bowl. Bye-bye. <laughs>